Before I get into this video, I'd like to say yes, I am aware that there is a red spot there. I did pick it, so it made it worse. So, uh, sorry about that if it's distracting you through this video, but it's there. I can't do anything about it. So this video is the All About Me video. It was a challenge first started by a YouTuber under the name of Amateur Fitness by Spider. Um, and people tag each other and they make their own ones. I'm a bit late to the show because I think a lot of people did theirs weeks ago. Um, I've just been a bit too busy. But I was tagged by a YouTuber under the name of Vic Secrets, um, who's a fantastic UK weight loss YouTuber. I'll put her link to her channel in the description below because I do highly recommend checking her out because she's very smiley, great videos, um, and I think she'll go a long way on, on this, this community if you guys want to check her out. Um, so rather than waffling on like I usually do, I'll get straight into the questions. So let's begin. So the first question is, what's my name and any nicknames that I've had? Uh, my name's Dom, uh, D-O-M, quite simple. Um, nicknames. I've had two in the past. Um, the first one was uh, called Molly. Um, I did have a large mole on the side of my face. One of those ones that was a bit gross because it had the hairs coming out of it and you could pull it and the skin would pull out. It was a bit disturbing. Um, unfortunately, the name Molly came out when the film Austin Powers Gold Member came out with the more. Molly, Molly. Thanks, Mike Myers. That was brilliant because I was part of the rugby team, and the year above rugby team at school used to love saying that every time they walked past me, if it was in the corridor or out in the field or whatever. Um, it, that didn't lead into me actually having it removed. I didn't get upset about the nickname. It was just a bit of fun. It was fine, um, but I, it was just large, so I didn't go to the doctors. They looked at it and said immediately, yep, let's remove it, that's fine. So, great for the NHS, they uh, put me in for a, just a quick surgery and had it removed. So that's the end of that nickname. They were uh, Mouldy. Uh, they were all quite upset when they had it removed because obviously the nickname Mouldy was no longer applicable. So that was uh, great because even though I didn't mind it, it wasn't a great name to have. Um, shout out to Eat Down the Corridor going, Mouldy! And pointing at it and all that sort of thing. If you watch Austin Austin Powers God Baby, you know what happens and the pointing and that sort of thing. So it wasn't a great nickname. The other nickname I had was uh, the BFG. This was linked again to rugby. Um, I joined the county team. I went to the trials of the county team. I got into the county for the rugby team. However, I just think they saw my height because I'm six foot four. Um, they obviously thought I was going to be this incredible rugby player and be quick and fast and strong, which I am strong but I'm not very fast, even back then. Um, and I think they didn't realise that I have literally very, well, not literally, but I have very little aggression in me, which isn't great for a rugby, so they start calling me BFG because um, I was intimidating before I started, I was intimidating before I started the match, essentially I would just be Look at that six foot four guy because around that time I think I was about 15, 16, so even for six foot four, that's still quite tall and big for that age range. So they used to call me BFG. I was only in the county team for one season. Um, I didn't particularly enjoy it, just the fact that they, the, the teams we were playing against and the players within my team, they were just incredible compared to what I am. So it just, I just thought there's no point in me being um, in a team that I wasn't really contributing to. So. That didn't last very long, but yeah, that's two nicknames I had through my life. Um, I have got another one, but I don't particularly want to do that one. Because it's, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that one. It's fine. Let's move on uh, to the next question. Question two, quite simply, my age, I'm 27. Just can't keep it simpler than that. Um, I'm 28 next year. Simple. Uh, so where am I from? I'm from West Norfolk um, in the UK. If you don't know where that is, if you look at the map of the UK, if you look on the right hand side, you see that bump that goes up and then down. Um, that's Norfolk, that top bit of that bump is Norfolk and I live on the west part of that. So that's where I live. So question number four was, what was my start weight and what is my height? So my start weight when I very first started my weight loss journey was 23 stone and five pounds if you're in the UK. If you're anywhere else, you'll probably use pounds. I was 320 seven pounds 
in, if you use kilograms, it's around about 148 kilograms. Um, and my height, I'm six foot four, so I'm quite, uh, I'm very tall. So luckily, I do carry my weight quite well, and quite a bit of my quite a lot of my weight. Um, I think slightly muscle. I have got fat. I have got a belly, or quite a large belly, um, which is where a lot of my weight is. So that was my starting starting statistics or stats, if you want to put it that way. Um, so next question. This question is 4.5, and we do it as a separate question because it's supposed to be part of the last question. Um, but I think it's important to do it separately, which is what's my current weight. Um, I'm not going to tell you in this video because I should be doing a weight loss check-in next week. Uh, fingers crossed I'm a bit busy next week, but I'll see if I can get a video up, which will be what my current weight is. So if you guys want to watch that, just look out for next week's video. So question number five is what is my goal weight? Um, this is a bit of a hard one for me because what I do is I do a lot of CrossFit and a lot of, of weightlifting. So um, I think what's going to happen with me is that I'm going to lose fat but gain muscle. So my weight is a bit hard to judge. However, saying that, I would like to get down to about 19 stone if you're in the UK. If you're anywhere else and use pounds, that's about... So I'm just going to look at my phone because I completely forgot what it was. Um, it is 266 pounds. Um, yeah, so if I can get down to that, I'll be happy. Um, I'll happy as an initial goal and um, if I get down to that weight then I can judge from there if I need to lose more or can I focus on a bit more on the, the muscle go muscle gaining muscle and losing fat and, and stay around that weight. I think it's a good goal for me to start off with because it's, it's it's a fairly big loss um, for what I look like. Um, again the main thing is just lose a belly. Um, so as I said in my last video I don't think say a weight loss is a good thing. I think really f what people should say is a, is a fat loss because that's the, the health thing. You can have muscle and be extremely healthy. Obviously there are extremes. You can have too much muscle and you just look wrong as a human being um, unless you're like a professional athlete or whatever. Um, or strong man because they're, they're just incredible what they can do. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm more on a fat loss journey. Um, so I'll see what happens. I'm hoping to get down to 19 stone or 266 pounds, um, but we'll see. So that's that's my goal, really. But we'll. Um, I know it's a bit. Uh, I should be more focused. I know on that question in terms of this is where I want to get to, but um, I'm not in that frame of mind as of yet. But we'll, we'll see what happens in the next few months and see if I gain or if I if I gain muscle and lose fat or if I just lose weight and we'll we'll see what happens in the next few months when I kind of sort out where I am with my head and my body and that sort of thing. So we'll see. So that's question number five. Um, next question. So question number six is why did I start to, why did I decide to, uh. so question number six is why did I decide to start losing weight and what is my motivation behind it? This is a question I've kind of answered in one of my very first videos, but I will kind of just give you an overview. Um, I gained a lot of weight at uni, so I was around 20, 21. Um, I got up to 23 stone and five pounds and which is 327 no yeah five pounds which is 327 pounds if you're anywhere else in the world um obviously that's the exact same weight as what i uh, got to recently however comparing both my bodies to uni to my recent high weight um my recent high weight i was more muscle and fat whereas when i was uni it was more just I was just big, big round face, and, and just mainly fat. Um, I lost quite a lot of weight about a year or two after uni. Um, I got down to I think around about eighteen stone. Um, I still wasn't fit. Or I, was, I was still was still a bit of fat on me and that sort of thing. Um, and then things happened and changed, and I got stressed, and I started eating again, and then I got up to where I was recently over the, that period of time. Um, so I'm now back in the frame of mind that I need to lose weight, I need to get healthy, I'm 27, um, still single, I get down and, and that sort of thing and uh, I just need to sort it out so that's my motivation behind it. Um, it's no longer really a point of looking in the past of what's happened, it's all about this is the present, I need to move forward, I need to look to, to what I need to do in the future. So I'm not going to focus on what in the past, it's, it's more and not how I got here, it's more let's try to build a healthy lifestyle and, and move on from here but 
obviously it's important to remember how we are so you don't fall into that trap again but it's all about moving forward so that's um, that's a big brief overview so hopefully that made sense um, let's move on to the next question question seven is quite a lot hard one it's something that I love about my area um, and something I could suggest to you guys if you visit West Norfolk in the UK um, I'd say probably the main thing for visitors that come to this area is that I do live near Sandringham uh, if you don't know what Sandringham is or where it is um, it is actually the home of Her Majesty the Queen um, obviously a lot of people think it's Buckingham Palace um, obviously she does spend a lot of time at Windsor Castle as well um, but she does spend an awful lot of time in, in Sandringham I think it's mainly because of the fact that it's in the middle of nowhere it's quite hard to get to so she can kind of escape here that's my idea I don't know what the real reason is I'm um, sure if you ever visit the Sandringham Estate I don't know if it's a palace or not but it's a Sandringham Estate you probably learn exactly why the Queen spends most of her time um, in this area um, so yeah so if you ever visit West Norfolk I do recommend going to the Sandringham Estate and seeing where the Queen lives really so uh, next question so question number eight is what would you recommend to someone who's starting a weight loss journey it's a little bit hard for me to answer this one because I feel that I'm still right at the beginning of my weight loss journey um, but the one thing I would say and I think it's something that a lot of people who are on here as a as a YouTuber as a, in the weight loss community um, they've probably recorded themselves either in their underwear or, or with a top off or whatever I've done this and I haven't put the video on here because I don't particularly want to do it at the moment if I lose a load of weight then I will do as a comparison thing but I never realised how big I was and how much of a problem I had until I saw the video of what I recorded myself at the beginning of this journey I knew I had a belly but I never knew how big it is or how much it kind of hung I didn't have that belly that hangs but it just is out there and it kind of moves and jiggles on its own <laughs> which isn't a great thing to laugh at but I would say if you are going to start a weight loss journey just record yourself in that form just keep it private if you want to keep it private if you are a YouTuber and you want to put it out there that's fantastic I don't feel I'm at that phase yet but it gave me I wouldn't say inspiration but it's a different viewpoint of the problem I have in terms of, oh, it's a bit of a hard one, but I, it just showed me the, the problem I have in terms of I have an unhealthy body um, and my legs are very muscular because I do a lot of back squats and my arms are, are fine, my face is getting there, I mean it's still not where I want to get to, but my belly is just, no, no the word, but wrong. It just it, it just should not be like that. I'm off to Spain. Um, well, Mallorca in Spain. In about six weeks' time, because it's my grandma's 80th, and we go in there. There's a family, and I'm not particularly looking forward to it. Um, because it obviously, it's going to be a beach holiday. Um, I have a brother who's in the military who's going, and obviously, he's very fit and no belly whatsoever. And I'm going to get very subconscious, but. I will will take my top off um, because you're in Spain and it's kind of nice to get some sun on your body when you can. Um, but yeah, just in terms of if you are starting a weight loss journey, just take a video of yourself because it just it makes you feel uncomfortable about where your body got, but it at least shows you the problem you have. Um, so yeah, that's my suggestion. Just record your body and just have a look at it just to see what are the good points and what are the bad points about where you are that's it really right so I'm actually going to read question 9 um, just the fact that if I don't read it I might get it wrong so question 9 is when you when you reach that stone that trips you how do you pick yourself up I'm not going to actually answer this question um, just the fact that relatively soon well next weekend something's going to happen um, it's good for them might suck for me, uh, it will suck for me, but I'll, I have to adjust my life a little bit um, and put myself out there to, to make sure it doesn't affect me in a bad way. Um, 
but we'll see how it does. Um, I probably will do a video telling you guys what actually has happened and then I'll do a video in terms of how it might have affected me in terms of my life, my feelings, um, my outlook and how I'm dealing with it. Um, it's not a hugely bad thing, I mean no one's died, no one's got sick or anything like that, so it's not a, a bad thing, um, it's just so that could, could affect my, my uh, I don't really know how to say it, so I'm not going to say much more, I'm going to leave it there. Something's going to happen, I'll do a video on it, keep your eyes out for that, keep your eyes out for that video, so um, next question. So question number 10 is to share words of wisdom um, and inspiration. I don't feel that I've earned the right to give you guys wisdom or advice yet because in theory I haven't really lost that much. Um, I'm below what I first started on but during my strength training, which I've already mentioned in one of the past videos, I've actually gained weight. Um, it's, I think most of it was muscle, some of it was, was fat, um, but I haven't got to the level yet where I've lost enough for me to go blah 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 you will lose weight and all those sorts of things. All I can say is what I tend to put on all the end of my comments that I put on other people's videos as well as my own is keep it up. Um, I've gained a bit of weight through strength training. All I can do is, is move forward, um, try to figure out where I'm going wrong and uh, keep up with my, my training. Um, even if you're doing workouts it's, and it's hard and you want to give up, just keep it up. Just keep moving forward no matter how long it takes. Um, if it's slow, if it's fast, just keep it up really. So that's my way of wisdom is the three words is keep it up. Um, so that's all the questions uh, that was in the all about me me tag. Um, I know at the end of these these things I'm supposed to tag three people, which is like what Bix Secrets did with me. I don't really feel that I've got anyone on here to tag that either they've done it or I don't feel that I feel I've got the right to tag them because I haven't really asked for permission. Um, there is a, one person I would tag but I'm not going to mention them because I quite like the videos they do and I think they like the way they format their videos um, so I'm not going to mention them. So what I'm going to do, rather than I'm waffling here, but what I'm going to do is if you haven't done this yet and you would like to do it and you would like someone to tag you just put a comment below saying please tag me. The first three people that do that I will put you as my tags in the description um, if and as when people actually do put tag me in the, the comments I will, first three people do it I will put you in the description as my three tags. I think that's probably the best way to do it because I don't feel comfortable tagging people I don't really know. Um, big secrets if you watch this you're fine thanks very much for tagging me much appreciated but me and myself, I have more confidence to kind of go, I tag you, and um, that sort of thing. So eventually I'll get there where I have a bit more confidence in terms of tagging and communicating a bit more better with, with the community. And um, again, this is, I think, going to be one of my future videos in terms of my insecurities, um, confidence, and, and that sort of thing, um, which is partly why I'm doing this is to boost my self esteem and show that I can do things that I think I can't do. Thanks very much for getting all the way through the through all the questions if you did watch the whole video. As always do like, comment and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you guys um, and keep an eye out for my future videos. Cheers guys!